Yeah. Did you hear it? Yes. I wish I had these before, Catherine. <laughs> uh, we always struggle for hearing. You tune it in just right, you can get WLS. <laughs> she probably doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. 890. Okay. I don't think you can get it. It has 50, had 50,000 watts. Oh, my gosh. You couldn't. I don't think you could even Good tune it in. Days. I don't know if it even exists. <laughs> no, she doesn't know what it is. Uh, Neither does Debbie or Matt, but Dead lost. Debbie, do you know WLS? She doesn't know. Is it a radio station? Oh, yeah. it was a fifty thousand watt Chicago. Chicago radio, radio station. station. We used to it was an AM station. Catherine, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yes, All I can right. judge. Good afternoon. You're Catherine Elaine Bonkey. That's correct. Uh, your probation officer, Matt Huff, is here. You're also here with uh, Lori Hines, who was your attorney. Um, I don't know. You've given Matt almost every gray hair that he has. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Matt. He spent a lot of time and emotional capital on this, trying to figure out uh, what to do. I mean, I got a bunch of things open. Catherine, how long have you been in jail? 17 days. You are back to Catherine. You're, yeah. You're yeah. sober. I am. I'm She's actually, much better. I'm actually very grateful to be here, sir. Finally. I'm sorry that it took the path that uh, it did, but um, I'm, I'm in a very great place. I'm grateful for all the bad things that have happened. Well, I'm, you are a very thoughtful young woman. You've written me Thank some you. very long, well thought, sincere letters. I was going to prepare another one today, as usual, sir, but I wanted to kind of apologize to everyone else is, that's in here in person about what happened. Um, not to excuse myself or not to take, not to not take ownership of what happened, but um, in light of what Lisa has, has shared with me since I've been back in jail. Um, just the selfless selfishness and uh the, the not caring um when i took off from bear river which i you know as you know i waited for three weeks to get a bed there i was super excited to be there um one of the things that transpired um the way that they're presenting their side of the case is um it's disheartening well let's start at square one here okay I put you on probation in November of 2022 for use of methamphetamine and attempting to resist or obstruct a police officer. You were placed on probation to Matt Hoff and Matt knew you. You'd been a participant in our sobriety court program and we had known you for some time. And he alleges that you failed to, that you violated your probation by failing to abstain from the use of drugs and alcohol failing to participate in the treatment program. You went AWOL from Bear River once about roller skates, and then, I don't know, then you went off the grid. That was set for a hearing in February of 2023, and you didn't come and we issued a bench warrant for your arrest. You got picked up 17 days ago. We did the arraignment, pled not guilty, probably at my suggestion. And, yeah. uh, I believe the Lori judge, Hines, yeah. maybe Judge Patterson. Did. Yeah, I think that's why he and suggested it, to wait and see you. Yes, here it was, uh, preferably within 14 days. He set your bond at $10,000. Now, I got within the last couple of days that you had completed the Meridian Residential Treatment Program. Yes, sir. It was amazing. And... Uh, Anyway, I wasn't here. I take a vacation in July. Judge Patterson had to handle it, and he set it for today. So let's start with the beginning. 
are you willing to admit that you violated your probation by using methamphetamine and leaving the program without permission? Yes, I left Bear River, yes. And uh, I, re I relapsed in between the, bear, the time between Bear River and my Meridian intake date, yes, sir. But, she, Your Honor, she uh, also did complete Meridian. All right, so. well, we're going to address some right. of that. Because that needs to be addressed, because I do think she well, did complete a program. Yes. <clears throat> um, you acknowledge that you're entitled to have this hearing. You can have counsel at the hearing. You can also waive the hearing and admit the violation. And so is that what you wish to do? Yeah. yeah. Say that again. But I don't think she understands. So say well, that. this is set for a hearing to prove that you violated your probation. She is. You're willing to. You just admission. admit. And, yeah. Just yeah, not, yeah. She just told me that she did. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear the judge? Yes, I'm trying to Catherine, we have a, I don't know if you've ever seen it. I tried to share it with your mother. Um, Miss Davis prepared a progression of your mug shots. Oh gosh. And uh, it will make you cry. It made me cry. <laughs> Um, it's shocking, um, from 18 to now, um, and you look good today. Yeah, you look as you. good as I've that. seen you in some time, but, um, it was an eye opener for all of us. Yeah. So I've tried sobriety court. I've tried a uh, regular probation. Uh, we went through the eviction stuff. I thought Bear River would be a great fit for you. Uh, you've been through several treatment programs. I don't really want you on probation anymore. Uh, Matt, what's your recommendation here? Well, Your Honor, I know that um, Ms. Hines is gonna speak to some of the facts that are gonna be presented. So I would just highlight some of the things so that it makes sense what my recommendation is going to be. Um, it's not that Ms. Blonke didn't complete any sort of treatment that really um, was the, I suppose, the driving force of the probation violation. It was that when she left, she was told by Ms. Kiefer that she needed to remain in place and she chose to leave on foot. Um, I understand the relapse part of things because as Ms. Blonke is familiar, I know, um, you know, what she struggled with with substance abuse in the past. And so some of that is to be expected while it's still a violation. Um, then when she was in Kalamazoo afterwards, after she'd completed her Meridian, um, I just, there became a certain point where she just didn't report. And so I'm not able to, to hear any updates from her. Um, I don't think she is, is able to comply with the terms of probation at this point in time. And I know I could be incorrect, but it seemed like at the, at the start of this probation, you had essentially given her 90 days in jail and then said um, that you would modify that if she was going to go to inpatient rehabilitative services, because that's what we all wanted to see for her. Just, just a minute. Mr. Lavador? Yeah. Can you hear me? I'm going to yes. put you in the waiting room. We're getting a lot of background noise from your the wind. So don't okay. go away. Don't hang up. I'm just going to set you aside. I'm sorry, go ahead. And as you stated, she is thoughtful and considerate person. And I, I do believe that. Um, unfortunately, we're just running out of things that we can do in St. Joseph County for Miss Bonke. Um, I don't know what the right answer is or if there is a right answer, but I don't believe a continuation of probation is appropriate. All right, Lori, it's helpful to have you in this case because you've been here from the beginning. And you've seen that slide progression that uh, makes Actually, us... today I was shocked to see her. I was like, didn't I first thing I said, <laughs> yeah. you look good today. Her hair is like, yeah, her hair, oh, but your hair is, she I'm said a, she had a I'm not about to make problem, fun of but, anybody's yeah. hair. But so. her facial features, her <laughs> attitude, her tone of her voice um, compared to the last time we were in here is much improved. And I think all of us can agree to that. Um, she's in a better spot. She has been working with Lisa Anatelli. Um, she's working on applying to the Hope House. She has an interview for that. 
Um, she I had, had interviewed them. Um, they're just waiting for the case manager's response um, okay. as far as like what happens today. So, um, you know, we do have one more service potentially in St. Joe County that she could take advantage of that's huge accountability through the Hope House. Well, Hope House is a great placement for you. Yeah. Um, it's a great program. We've had some of our people in sobriety court and others. It's for women only, but it is a source of stability and support for women that are struggling. Um, how much time did you actually spend at Bear River? That's what we wanted to cover. She said that she was 22 days at Meridian. She was four days at Bear River and she's been in jail 17 days yes, plus seven days prior. Um, so she is aware she's accounted those days for me that she at least would like to get credit for. Um, and I think Meridian was a great program Excellent. for her um, that maybe put her back on the right track. I don't know if their recommendation when she left Meridian, I didn't cover this with Catherine to go to the gospel mission. Um, but, you know, she did end up there. So she wasn't totally homeless, had a shelter to live. And if she's at the jail and can get into the Hope House, she would have a place in St. Joe County to move to once she's out of jail. They approve for her to be placed there. Deborah, you have any better suggestion? No, I mean, it's, it's looking like it's better than what it was when this report was written. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, it's going to be up to her to follow through on these things mm -hmm. and stay on the right path. So I leave it to the court's discretion. All right. 97 days was the original sentence. She had seven days. Plus, I'll give you credit for the treatment options, which is 22 days and four days. That doesn't add up right. The 17, too. Yeah, I didn't get that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seven plus 22 plus four. Plus the it's 21 that I had sat before 17. I left for Bear River. How many? I had sat for, I think, 21 days before I left for Bear River. You think that's all the days? I'm sorry, Laura. You think that's all the days that need to be accounted? That you? I think so, yeah. Okay. I, I believe so. I know that um, on December 2nd, when I went back to jail, uh, my original outdate, if I had not gone to treatment, would have been January 27th. So that would have left me 52 days to serve of just the jail sentence, um, which last time I talked to Matt, I think you had kind of put that on the table that you just were going to revoke the probation and let me serve the rest of my sentence in jail. Mm -hmm. um, so of the 52 days, um, subtract the 17 that I've been here this time, the 22 from Meridian and the four. Looks for like my 20, time in Bear River, I think it's, yeah. it's about 13 days left, I think, about 37 of my sentence. 52 minus 22 equals minus 4 equals minus 17 equals 9 days. I would honestly, um, just because I put everybody through so much, I was going to ask to just finish the, the, the jail sentence or if, if the court would be so kind to let me out today. Um, I've lost a lot of things and gained a lot of knowledge through my, my journey, Judge. Um, at the time, I don't know if you remember when I was arrested on November 3rd, I was a caretaker for an elderly, elderly woman who yes. she, um, about a month after I was arrested she passed away who was um, that person margin cup of menden yes um she passed away actually on christmas eve um and that was really hard because i was i i messed up and i put myself in a place when i was supposed to be at her side um i've been through homelessness i have found my um i went to meridian which was uh, I, I've been sitting and thinking in my jail cell about and, and cursing Bear River out about how they handled things and how I was discharged. Um, and I had like all this hatred and, and animosity built up towards them. And I 
in my time where I've had to think there, all I can think is, is, is to thank God that that happened because I got a chance to go to Meridian. I became a residential assistant within the first 10 days I was there. And I never have ever in my life thought of myself as a, a leader at all. But um, I had women that I was um, basically re responsible for showing new women around when they came there, making sure that they're comfortable getting them acclimated and everything like that, um, taking care of like minor concerns, um, taking issues to MTs, um, addressing, you know, small things, making, running the phones, um, just helping like daily activities, serving lunch. How did you get into Meridian? I mean, you went AWOL in the cold up in I left the uh, river. Boyne Falls yep. and we were out there with no boots on. I How did you the, get from there to Meridian? I left the river. I walked about a half mile down the road to a Hampton Inn. I checked into the Hampton Inn. Thank goodness I had my credit card. Um, I got on the phone with Swimba that day and I had um, checked in with Meridian and had my intake date all set up. Um, within that, that first 24 hours, and I went to Meridian, I think, the following week. And it's, it's I mean, I've, I've gained, I never thought that I could be, a, like I said, a leader um, to be able to help women. Um, as you always, always have said in the past, Judge, you would always want me to see me um, to pay it forward because you'd seen so much potential in me. And not only did I get that at Meridian, but I, I got to be loved by other women and, and show my love to them and see many of them like blossom and grow as well, I was blossoming. If you could get clean, you would make a wonderful <laughs> sponsor for young women. Thank you. But I'm going to give you what you're asking for. I'm going to give okay. you 97 days credit 88, which leaves nine days to serve and your okay. probation is a revolt. Okay. There'll be some good time calculated in that probably within about the next seven days. You, that'll give time to get Hope House situated. I think that's a great spot. I didn't like the fact of you being up at the gospel mission. Yeah. There's all kinds of ways to get hurt yeah. or get uh, in trouble. I feel much better to have you closer here. Yeah, I at feel Hope better House. being close to my mother as well. All right. Good luck to you. All right. Thank you, Judge. You're good to go. Thank you. 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 Thank you.